Welcome to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. Let's get started to get better at farming. In our previous video, we had learned about the alignment of the foundation, the setup of the sheets onto our polyhouse before installing the hydroponic system. And today we'll be learning about the leveling of our space for our hydroponic system. So let's move forward and have a practical look of how to level our ground for our hydroponic system. Now here, as you can see, we have a lot of weeds, grass, small plants in our polyhouse. And before we go ahead and set up our hydroponic system onto this land, we need to clear off the complete grasses, weeds, and we need to make sure that this land is completely leveled in such a way that our water that we are giving to our plants doesn't stay anywhere onto our land. So as you can see here, we have so many grasses here, so many weeds and so many uh, small pebbles. So just to clear them all off, we have this tractor coming into our polyhouse, as you can see on the screen. So this tractor has a equipment attached to it at the back, which is a kind of rotavator here. And this removes all the grasses or weeds that we have into our polyhouse. So just have a look here, how is he doing it? So he has started it, as you can see here. And removing these weeds and grasses from your polyhouse doesn't cost very high. Uh, this costed us uh, around approximately uh, 1,000 or 2,000 bucks for the complete polyhouse to remove all these grasses. So it's not a big amount that a farmer cannot invest. These people, they are very expert to clear all the grasses from edge to edge. So they are very expert in this. So make sure when you do this, get an expert for your polyhouse to clear all these weeds and grasses from uh, your polyhouse. I would definitely say here that farmers, they are really very good at their work. And once you started, you will be also very excited while uh, doing all this because if you are seeing this and doing it yourself in front of your eyes, uh, this would give you a kind of kick in your life that, yes, definitely you should get into this. So all emerging farmers, I would rather suggest if you have a clear picture about your uh, future then I would say farming in farming we have sky uh, uh, in farming I can say that a person has uh, limits a uh, very high limits I would say sky is the limit for them so this is never ending limits I would say So this guy, he has done one side and now he's doing the other side. So he'll just make circles so that all the part of the land is taken care of. So first of all, he's coming vertically and then the tractor will go horizontally. You'll just get the option here to just have a look here. So right now he's doing it from north to south. 
and south to north and then later on he'll be coming from east to west and west to east so now here he is moving on to that land that is not done so he's going on to it In the later part of the video, I'll also show you the leveling of uh, the land. But here we have used a kind of process wherein we have done it in a kind of uh, very layman manner. So in that case, I would rather suggest go with the computerized leveling of your crown. And even that is done with the tractor itself. That is the best one. I would rather suggest go with that because otherwise there would be some glitches in your land wherein. Uh, one part of your land would be up, other part would be down. So to avoid that, I would suggest go with computerized leveling of your land. I haven't done the computerized leveling, but I suggest all the emerging farmers to go with computerized leveling only. The one side is almost done. Okay, now he'll be going from east to west. I just skipped the video here so that because it would take a lot of time. So I'm just skipping the video. So now here he is going from east to west so that all the corners of the Poly house is taken care of. And as you can see the final touch here. This is how they are leveling it. This is a kind of layman, I would say, kind of. I would say, uh, I would use a word here, jugad, wherein people, they are sitting on a weight and that weight is being uh, dragged by the tractor and that is leveling our ground. Instead of this, I would rather suggest go with only computerized leveling of your ground. Otherwise, the leveling won't be that perfect. And you would face a lot many issues of accumulating water at one place. Which we are facing right now like anything. But the land that we have selected, this land actually absorbs water like anything. This is a very sandy soil, very loose soil. So any extra water that we have onto our flow that is immediately absorbed by the land. So that is that was an added advantage for us, but would it had not been uh, the loose soil, the water would have accumulated like anything and it would have been very difficult for us to remove that accumulated water from our uh, land here. So I would rather suggest get this computerized leveling of your land so that uh, you don't face any issues in the future as well till you have the structure and your hydroponic setup onto your system. Now, as you can see, the land is completely clean and there is no grass or no weeds onto our land. Now here, we have also made sure after the complete land is leveled and everything has been taken care of, we are making sure that the complete land is sprayed with the insecticides and with the pesticides onto the ground because we'll be covering this ground and we don't want any insect or soil borne disease to come up onto our plants. So prior covering this ground, we make sure that we spray this ground with the insecticides or with the pesticides onto this. So as you can see here, this guy here, he's making a spray of all the insecticides and pesticides onto the ground so that prior setting up the complete poly house or the hydroponic system in the poly house, all the insects in our poly house, they are 
killed properly and they don't affect our plants after we have the complete setup of our polyhouse done. So always make sure that when you set up your polyhouse and the complete polyhouse is constructed and the complete land is leveled properly, we need to make sure that all the pests and the insects are killed in our polyhouse using very good quality insecticides. And after you this, after you do this, you need to close your polyhouse for 24 hours so that there is no insect left in our polyhouse to damage our plants. So this is one of the best practices in hydroponics that before you set up your hydroponic setup, you need to spray a very good insecticides in your polyhouse so that all the insects and pests, they all die in your polyhouse. So at the end, we need to always make sure that our polyhouse is properly vaccinated, I would say here, because we are only giving a kind of vaccine to our polyhouse here so that there is no uh, attack from the soil, at least from the pest or from uh, any kind of insects onto our plants. So before covering our land with anything in our hydroponic system, we need to make sure that our polyhouse is kind of sprayed properly with the proper quality of pesticides and insecticides. And this would really help us out to give us a good output for our plants because they would be at a very least risk of soil borne diseases. So today we'll end the session here itself. We'll meet in the next session. Till then, goodbye and have a nice day.